Uh, last video, we uh, zero in on who is at risk for having a stroke uh, if you have atrial fibrillation. And we reviewed the uh, scoring system called the Chad's Vask score, where you can actually pinpoint very accurately what's your risk of having a stroke uh, per year. And we mentioned the strokes from atrial fibrillation have a double mortality the other strokes and are associated with more disability. So today we're going to ask the question, what to do about it? Fortunately, we have uh, options available uh, today. We have actually five medications and we also have other options for people who cannot be on a blood thinner because they are at uh, increased risk or bleeding or frequent uh, falls. And let's look at the medications. Uh, for more than 50 years, we had a medication called uh, Coumadin. And in fact, is also known as a rat poison. It has been very effective in preventing strokes in uh, atrial uh, fibrillation. But uh, more recently, we have uh, four other medications. The problem with uh, Coumadin, it's the dose of Coumadin must be adjusted. You need to have a test called an INR at least once a month. Uh, in addition, there are foods, uh, especially the leafy green vegetables that have a lot of vitamin K, could interfere with the dose of uh, uh, Coumadin. And in addition, many drugs would also interfere with Coumadin, making the dosing a little bit more uh, challenging. Uh, but we now have four other alternatives called uh, newer or novel anticoagulants and they are all safer than Coumadin. They are as effective as or more effective than uh, Coumadin. They are known by their commercial names Prodaxa, Zeralto, Eloquiz and uh, Cerveza. Uh, two of them in fact, the products and the eloquence need to be taken twice a day. The other two can be taken just once a day. But none of them require adjusting the dose once it is established. And you don't have to worry about interference with food or other medications. And they do not require a blood test uh, every month. Once you set the dose, you are uh, done. You and your doctor will decide which one is best for you. And if you are in a situation where you cannot afford the novel anticoagulants, uh, the Coumadin is still very effective and continues to be a great alternative. In fact, all the newer anticoagulants were tested as the gold standard that was Coumadin. And Coumadin costs really a few pennies a day. But what about patients who cannot tolerate the blood thinner because they are increased the risk of bleeding or they are already had a bleeding on the stomach or the colon, the GI tract, or they had a bleeding in the eye, uh, potentially causing blindness, or they had a bleeding in the head. So those patients are not uh, candidates for blood thinner. So we also do have alternatives, including left atrial appendage occlusion devices. It's kind of a plug that can go into the left atrial appendage, is deployed like an umbrella and minimizes the risk of having a stroke. And uh, this device is uh, uh, implanted through a vein in your legs, uh, goes into your, into your heart and then to the left atrium and does not require opening the chest and does not require open heart uh, uh, surgery. If you need uh, open heart surgery for any other reason, valvular disease or uh, any uh, other uh, reason, coronary artery disease, uh, the surgeon can also go in and exclude the appendage or ligate the appendage and minimize the risk of uh, you having a, a stroke. And again, all these strokes can be prevented. And in summary, atrial fibrillation is the most common arrhythmia in adults. It is responsible for 20% of all uh, strokes. We now have many options, five different medications and non-medication alternatives like the left atrial appendage occlusion device where we can remarkably decrease your risk of having a stroke. And again, all these strokes can be prevented.
And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take uh, control. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, write a comment, uh, publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. See you next video.